the perfect problem number two for math 243. Um, this one was probably bad design on my part because I told everyone to make up their own data. So if you're grading this, it might be a little tricky to do, but maybe you can follow this um, and get an idea of what people did was right or wrong. So at any rate, my data was what I made cups of coffee I drank by week. Okay. Um, and here's all the data right here. And since I looked ahead and saw that I have to compute a five number summary, and I know that that includes medians and quartiles, I put these all into order. So I did all that before I started the video, just so you wouldn't have to watch me write all those up. Um, so now let's start. So let's see here, we want to compute the five number summary. Okay, so five number summary, maybe I, five number summary is the minimum then Q1, then the median, then Q3, and then the maximum. I'll change pen color so this is a little easier to see. Um, let's see, minimum is pretty easy, just the smallest observation, so it's zero. So for our five number summary here, first number is zero. Q1, um, all right, to figure out Q1, what we need to do is figure out the 25th percentile. So we want 25 divided by 100 times n plus 1. Um, n is 15 because we got 15 observations. So maybe observation. Um, 25 over 100 is a quarter. n plus 1 is 16. So 1 quarter times 16 is equal to four. So what I want is the fourth observation, which is equal to five right here. Um, that worked out well for me, depending on what numbers you choose. This might have been a decimal instead of a whole number. If this were 4.5, for example, you would have taken the average between the fourth and fifth observations. Um, all right, so my second number here is a five. The median is the 50th percentile. So one way you can get at it is with this formula. Um, and it'll be a lot like Q1, except now we have 1 half times 16, 16 being n plus 1. So that means we want the eighth observation. And the eighth observation we got right here. Maybe I'll label it. is six. So our median equals six. And Q3, getting a little tired of this by now, but it's the same idea, except now it's the 75th percentile. So that's three quarters of 16, which is 12. So we want the 12th largest observation and it looks like that's this guy right here, seven. So this right here is Q3. So let's see, back up to our five number summary here. Median is six, Q3 is seven, and the maximum, the largest observation is 12 right here. So, uh, so that's good. We figured out our five number summary um, and now Okay, so that's that. Now we want to draw a box plot for this data. So, okay, maybe I change colors down here. Box plot. To figure out the, block, the box plot, we need the lower fence and the upper fence. And the way you figure those out is the lower fence is Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR interquartile range and the upper fence is the third quartile plus one and a half times the interquartile range. So if we're going to calculate these we better figure out what is the interquartile range. Um, that's just Q3 minus Q1 and we calculated those above to be 7 and 5 in this case. So our interquartile range is 2 so our lower fence is Q1 which is 5 minus 1.5 times 2, which is 3. 
So one and a half times two gave us this three, five minus three gives us, gives us two. Um, and for the upper fence, it's the same idea, except now we got a seven over here. Um, one and a half times the interquartile range will be the same. It's still this three, and that gives us 10. And now finally, I think we have all the information we need um, to draw our box plot. Let's see, the important points we'll need is the minimum, which is zero up to 12. So maybe I'll make a number line down here. Put the zero over here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five right there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so I want to draw the box at the first quartile and the third quartile, so that's five and seven. So here's five right here, six, seven. And then I want to line down the middle at the median, which was six, something of a line. Um, six right here and then I want to draw lines going out to my fences so out to two which is right one two in that range and up to my upper fence which is ten so right there and then I want to put a star anywhere where there's an outlier um, so observations less than two or bigger than ten looks like there was a couple Got one out here at zero, and then one out here at 12. So I drank so little coffee and so much coffee that you might consider those outliers, um, which I think answers, does any of the data qualify as outliers? I would say that zero and 12 qualify as outliers. And that's because they're outside maybe because they're outside the fences. I think there's one more question, it's a long problem. Um, does, it, does my data appear to be left skewed, right skewed, or roughly symmetric? Well, this will be different for everyone, but for me this looks pretty damn symmetric if you look at this picture right here. The median is right down the middle of my quartiles. These fences extend out um, maybe the exact same or at least close to the exact same distance. So I would say data appears roughly symmetric. And then I would finally be done with uh, this perfect problem.